Good morning, grade seven. Hope you're all doing good. I want you to open your books to page number one fourteen. We will we will be starting from thermal. In the last lecture, we were discussing about different forms of energies. Uh, today, we will be talking about thermal, hydroelectricity, nuclear, solar power. What is thermal energy? Thermal electricity is produced using oil, gas. coal as the energy fuel thermal means heat heat energy so when oil gas or coal is burned they release gases and those gases in turn move uh, a motor a kind of motor which produces electricity this is how thermal uh, electricity is produced uh, oil gas coal or any other type of energy fuel is burned and when it is burned gases are released those gases move a motor and when the motor moves electricity is generated hydroelectricity uh, hydroelectricity is the is similar to thermal electricity uh, in thermal electricity we use heat to move the rotor uh, motor and in hydroelectricity we use water to move the motor which in turn creates uh, electricity nuclear power there are three nuclear power plants in pakistan one located near karachi is known as can you karachi nuclear power plant the other two known as c h a s n u p p 1 2 are located at chashma in western punjab nuclear power contributes about 3.6% of the total electricity generated in pakistan recently work on two nuclear power plants in karachi has started nuclear power plant is not very common it only produces 3.6% of the total electricity generated in pakistan solar power uh, all of you may know what solar uh, solar panels are solar panels are basically these you might have seen them outside some of the houses uh what they do is they use the solar uh, energy sun's energy to produce electricity these panels moving on biogas biogas is an alternative method of producing electricity it uses animal dung for example you have seen in villages uh, some women um, putting uh, cow dung on the walls these dungs are used to produce uh, uh are used to produce they are uh, used as fossil fuels uh, they catch fire very quickly so they use these biogas to produce electricity all right uh, what i want you to do is read all the pages that we have uh, i have gone through today and we will be solving the questions First of all, do the fill in the blank. In 1952, the first gas field in Pakistan was discovered at Suri. Biogas was introduced in Pakistan in 1974. Now, uh, we'll start with question number three. Identify the main sources of energy in Pakistan. Open your books to page number uh, 111. Sources of energy in Pakistan. The first line, from oil, gas. till pakistan this is question number uh, this is answer number 3 now the first identify major areas where metallic minerals are found in pakistan okay you have to identify the areas all right the porto or plateau uh, pizu uh, pizu in dera ismail khan from here till uh, limestone ma- uh, mining you can just write the names okay from here till here afterwards marble uh, marble where is marble found these are the places where marble is found we have to tell the places where non metallic minerals are found in pakistan okay so from here till here that's enough this is question number 1a this is 1b right and question number 2 is from 
it till Balochistan. Okay, if you have highlighted, this was today's lecture. Thank you.